I don't know if they had a good, they might have been having a good time going like this. Doing that like Scarlett Johansson face. So maybe it was you that was cracking up the most on set. I was cold. It was 20. <laughs> I wasn't doing a lot of crack. I was cracking, but I wasn't cracking up. It was cold. Right. Terrible. How are you doing? I was asking how you're doing all last year. And, I'm alive. Yeah. Well, well, bless 2020. So yes, thank you. Yes. Peace. I know you have to be. 20 degrees weather shooting outside with no overcoat on? Yeah, I was. I wanted to be in Santa Monica. People were saying their favorite I wanted to be in Santa Monica even without shooting. I didn't care whether we were shooting or not. I just wanted to be away. 20 degrees, no overcoat. I'm an old man. You know what, I would have to say the highlight was just riffing with Alan Arkin. And you know, he'd look at me every once in a while and be like, holy, where did that come from? But uh, improvising with him and playing uh, within that world, you know, it's always within the context of the material and the scene, but I uh, loved, loved, loved working with him. And Winston too was, uh, you know, uh, it was a fun, fun group of people. Me and Winston, it's a great, it's a great pair. And then we got Post Malone, AK Posty, AK Austin Post coming in there, possibly getting, convince you to get any tattoos on the way out this No, day. man, I told him. It's bittersweet because I've always been a big fan, but I think uh, when I was nominated for The Departed, he was the one who actually won the Oscar that year. So I think both Eddie Murphy and I still got a little beef with Alan over that. But but uh, no, he's uh, it's great because it's, you know, when we're in the moment, we're in the moment. And if not, it's just like we're just kind of laughing and talking about whatever. And he uh, doesn't take it or himself too seriously. But when it's time to, to roll, it's time to roll. I can't be eaten yet. You know, I, don't, I still want to fit this suit, you know? No. I didn't get to see him across for long, but I knew when he was around, he did a really good job. Um, I know there's like a lot of stunts. Did you get to do your own? The funniest moment was, um, well, every day working with uh, Alan was just great. He's a comic genius and just kind of a pillar of uh, Hollywood history. So he had a couple monologues. I don't know if they made it into the film, and he improvs a lot. So anything he does is like gets everyone with that deep guttural laugh. We were having these very long shoot days and it was so chaotic and he came in one morning and somebody said, Alan, how are you, sir? And he just said, worse. And I just think that's such a great, <laughs> just to let you know how we're feeling. It was great. You know, it was really cold when we were shooting. I mean, the, the temperatures were down. And uh, I knew that in between takes, we would hop into, they'd have a car there for us to hop in. And I just think I loved hearing them just complain about the cold, to be honest with you, and just wanted to be back in Santa Monica. And I think I had more fun listening to him in the car complain about the weather than I did about, than other things. So, you know, he's just incredible. 